Well, Lily has got that in heaps. And Epi, the player that has been arguably the weakest for Heretics, is now the player that may need to step up biggest here in game four. Inside the jungle with Razork. Here comes Mercer and Flak, level two each. Grand entrance out, interrupted by the Poppy W. First blood secured by Razork and Fnatic as the feathers are flying. Flak, you can't pull them back just yet. Vitio trying to push while that is going on. Humanoids left alone in that middle. It's available for Oscar and it is not for Ebi. Drag is down to two and a half thousand. Three members of Heretics just south of the pit. Vitio, Spirit Rush and Charm. Can he find the target? Dragon is secured, the engage from Ranzorg, the steadfast presence for the charm comes out, they turn their attention onto Vitio, force to use the spur rush defensively, and Yankos gets on the board, instantly reply back from Trimby. The Dragon goes Fnatic, it's a one for one in the fights. Fnatic may still be in trouble though, they're stepping forward here. Over Deception comes right back out and bring the hammer down! Humanoid goes to the skies! But Vitio does get another in reply. Flackhead continues to chase, looking to pull some feathers back, waiting no, for the cooldowns available to him. Will not find the route, will not find the target. And Oscar's waiting in the wings. Look at the piercing oh. in the shot block. It's a double kill for Noah. But it's going for a Herald. This is a dead Zaya. Noah's 1100 gold up, 100% kill participation. Fnatic faithful have been rewarded. Noah has stepped into the shoes of the summer season. And they somehow find a way back into this game. It's three and a half minutes until the third dragon. It's Mercer going for the engage on the quickness. The solar flare just about sidestep. Teleport being channeled here from Oscar Eden. Call of the Forge God. Let the feathers fly and flock it. Gets taken down. Mercer forced to run for his life. They get the TP. But it's Fnatic with yet another kill. Bolt play backfires, doesn't it? They thought they had the damage kill Humanoid. He doesn't even flinch in the hammer form with the extra resistances. Doesn't even flash. Noah's got control of mid lane. Humanoid's gonna push in bottom and get this tower. VTO, Yankos, and Mercer looking for a pick on him. He still has the flash, no TP on the orb. But Trimby's right behind him, and in comes Noah and Oscar. All right, Trimby, shield of daybreak, gets the stun. Follow up, re engage. Heart broken, stolen. Yankos connects with the Xanus, the shield to follow. Ebi with the lilting lullaby gets the cleanse out of Noah. Looking for that watch, out, east, boop. The charm connects, the shot blades will not as Yankos has stolen the hearts of at least one more. There goes Ebi, watch out, he points more. The booming boys looking for the final damage as Yankos is forced low, forced back, forced away. They fancy another dive, but here comes Razor. He's got the flash available as well as that keeper's verdict. Ebi's now trying to zone them away. Searing charge comes out, knocked against the wall. Oscar's able to escape for the time being, but the charm once more. Steadfast Brez removing any chance of escape for now. Finally, a flash away to oh, the front. Oh, the members of Team Heretics are so incredibly low. Yankos and Mercer, they're piecing out with their lives. Charm may buy just enough time for Ebi. Ebi's still, still, still going. going. Oh, He's still what is dying. happening? You want the Q, you want the Q, full <laughs> helicopter mode. How the hell? Down this flathead like middle lane, no yeah. flash available to him. Feathers may need to fly in just a moment. He's holding on to the ult. Oscar's not called the Forge God himself. Here comes Vizio, the upper frost, but the Keeper's Verdict at least gets rid of Mercer. Teleport now channel from Humanoid. Oh, oh no. gigantic damage onto Flacken. Re-engage here from Razor. The Verdict is out. The Forge God is sent for and it's Epi. The target secured. He will be run down. The Zenith Blade is beautiful from Trimby. And Humanoid the Hammer Form picks up yet another. There is at least one kill backwards, but that will be all she wrote. And the birds are flying for their lives. And Fnatic oh take my god! That was the, the riskiest recall ever! Option. Forcing Ebi away. Dragon is up in 10 seconds. Mercer the oh. target. Ebi a little bit tanky. He's got that frozen heart. Has some armor to work with. But now Flacken does not! He manages to find the root, but he's just play. blown up. Simply nothing that he can do. And Yankos needs the ult over the wall. Oscar in it. Searing charge. Knocks up two with a shot blast. Just about finds a kill. One more piercing arrow, it's a double kill for Noah and two by two. We need a miracle. Look at Mercer, but Razork spots it. That Rakan is getting nowhere near the team. Razork's trying to make sure of it. There's absolutely no way in. No flash available for him either. Keep your eyes on Ebi. Manages to land the swirl seed. Has he got the target? Vitio is trying to find a charm target. Ebi's flash is on cooldown. Solar play has been used. Ebi goes golden. Shot blast onto Vitio, forcing him away. Vitio's down to half. Flatkids down to half. The carries are low and the engage is in. It's on to Ebi. Forced to use the ultimate. And the call of the Forge God comes out. Will be interrupted, but it may not matter. Vitio's running for his life and just follow the shot blast. Follow the pot shots. Follow the long range boat from Fnatic. Sending oh. them all the way to the Nexus. Sending them all the way to season finals. 
and sending Fnatic to a showdown with XL tomorrow. Fnatic.